Welcome to this session on using a list to replicate geometry. In this session, we will generate a list of inputs in order to replicate geometry. So in other words, from a single node, we can create multiple geometry. So essentially, a list is a method for creating replication in a GC model. By creating a list of values in an input field, you will generate multiple geometry. For example, in this exercise, we will input a list of distance values in order to generate floor planes of the building. So we'll be able to create a number of planes from a single plane node. So I'm going to come over to my geometry node types and I'm going to select the plane node and just left click to put it on the graph. So let's click. I'm going to name this plane floors. And from the techniques, I'm going to use a technique which is by direction and distance from origin. So basically, we'll need an origin point and then a direction and then we'll just put distances in to offset those planes from that origin. So the origin we'll use will be our base coordinate system. So I'm just going to link that up to that coordinate system. Now we also need a direction. So we, we need to basically create these planes in a certain direction. Now our base coordinate system actually has directions. It has its X, Y, and Z axis, but I have to access them. Those are basically properties of that coordinate system. So I'm going to go over to that base CS node and pull down the right side of the node. So the left side of the node are the inputs, but on the right side, we essentially have outputs or properties of that node. And I can scroll down and see a number of them there and find the Z direction. So I'm going to pin that to the node there. And then I can simply link a wire to my direction input. And then I just need to define a distance. And this is where we're going to use a list. I'm going to open what's called the full script editor. If you click on that little square there to the left of the text field, it will open up an editor. It just makes it a little easier to type in. So when we want to input a list of values as opposed to a single value, we put that in curly brackets. So I'll start by typing in the curly bracket. And then I'm going to put the list of values. So let's assume our, our first floor, the lobby floor, might have a, a height of, of something like 25 feet. So I'm going to say 25 as the first value. And then it's just a comma and then the next value. So if we're going to assume maybe we have 10 feet floor to floor on our floors, so I could put in 35 and then 45 and 55 and 65. And then I'm going to close that curly bracket. So that's going to generate five floor planes at those varying heights. So I'm going to select apply and then close my script editor. And now you can see here, it's easier to see if you select the node because it'll highlight that geometry, but you can see it's generated floor planes, which show up as little icons just above our base coordinate system. Now that's just the plane. What I want to do next is actually create a floor plate. So I can intersect that plane with the form hotel, and that will generate an outline curve of our floor plate. So I'm going to go back to my node types, and I'm going to select the curve node and place that on the graph. I'm going to rename that curve as floor plate. And then I'm going to look for a technique. Remember, I said we want to intersect our floor planes with that form hotel or solid there. So if we look through the techniques here, you'll note there is a plane solid intersection, which requires a plane and a solid to intersect. I'm going to select that technique. I'll link the plane to my plane floors. Now, because that is a list, because there's a, a group of geometry there, every one of those planes will get intersected with the solid. So I'll hook the solid to the forum hotel. And you can see now that has generated some shapes there 
for those floors. Now, if we want all the floors for the remainder of the building, we'd have to come in here and keep typing in values until we reached our height of 180 feet. So let me go ahead and go over to the transactions and record that transaction. So we've used a list in this case to generate replicated geometry with a single node. What we'll do in the next session is actually use a function, uh, what's called a series function, so that we can generate that list but generate it with a set of variables. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you, and see you next time.